Really quickly before this video gets started, I wanna jump in here and say I actually recorded the audio of this before Rockstar revealed the nightclub teaser trailer earlier in the day. Now I still think everything I'm gonna be talking about here is valid and could easily still be coming in the update, I'm just gonna be talking about it with a little bit of a different manner, like nothing's been released yet from Rockstar, when clearly stuff has today. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll jump in and talk about how I think it relates to the new information, but I just wanted to give you guys that heads up uh, before we started the video. Anyways, let's not waste any more time and let's get it started. So if you watched my video the other day, we talked about how the dancing mini game for the nightclubs has essentially been in the game since day one. Well, today we're gonna be expanding on that, talking about some more features of the nightclubs that we're likely going to see in the next update that have been around for a while. Rockstar have had these in the game since 2015. So according to the in-game files, nightclubs probably should have been added to GTA 5 around 2015 with the single player DLC, and it probably would have been added to online as well. Well, we know with no single player DLC, this probably pushed nightclubs back. So I won't go into this too long because I did show this to you guys a little bit earlier, but there was a dancing mini game that was found with the following different inputs. Dance, great, level down, level up, missed, perfect, ready, weak, etc. So I would imagine that these would appear on the screen as you completed or didn't complete various dance moves. However, there is a little bit more information that comes along with this. Um, I'll actually put that on the screen right now. This comes from a user, Metal Z, on the GTA forum site. He posted this on December 20th, 2015. So that would be with the executives and other criminals update. He said, with the latest update, Rockstar has added a new text file, dance.gtx2. And essentially, these are the controls for the dance moves. As you guys can see here, it has input for front end left, right, up, except, a indicator for move missed, uh, input front end down, X, and then cancel. There's a line of code that is input context to start dancing. So I guess there's going to be a, a little blue corona or something that tells us to start dancing. Another line of code that says tap the button prompts in time with the beat. The more in time with the music you are unlocks additional dance moves. And then the final one is input front end Y. So it looks like this is going to be a pretty serious dancing mini game done by Rockstar, which I actually find to be really cool. So I think it's gonna be a little bit more complex than we think. I think it's certainly going to be more complex than what we saw in the Ballad of Gay Tony, which was essentially just moving like your thumbstick left and right to sort of the beat of the music. It looks like this is gonna be more similar to like a dance dance mini game uh, where you actually have to like input the moves to get the correct uh, you know way to go about doing it. And that of course will reward you. So really cool stuff right there. Again, those were found in the files in 2015. It's pretty crazy to think about uh, that it's been in the game for almost three plus years now, which is insane. And again, to add even more further proof of this, this tweet from FunMW2 was found in 2015 as well on December 15th. It is a new text file added with the executives DLC uh, dance.txt and then it is the same thing we just looked at press to start dancing I'm assuming it's related to single player DLC that of course was at the time in which we thought single player DLC was going to be a thing now it of course is not which is slightly unfortunate now according to funmw2 the dance.gtx2 was added back with the executives update because it was developed from early 2014 dance.gxt2 was removed within one of the new updates developed from 2015. That explains why it was added back. It does make sense if we're going to be getting a nightclub update why a text file like that was reintroduced in the game. However, dancing is not going to be the only mini game that looks to be coming. This information comes from wildbrick142. He says it looks like you could be a DJ as well. You guys can see that line of code right there that says press whatever input to begin DJing. And then another line of code, press something to stop DJing. So I would imagine that there's going to be stations at the nightclubs or maybe at the public nightclub that allows us to be the DJ. Now, I don't know what that entails. Maybe it will just be sort of like a passive sort of DJing action for taking Snapmatic photos and looking cool. 
Maybe it will give you choices to change the music, maybe to change the lighting in the club. I don't know what sort of things DJs have access to, but regardless, that sounds kind of cool. That's not the only thing we're going to be doing in the game, which is kind of neat. And Wildbrick says that line was found in the first update RPF, April 2015, x64b.rpf, and on last gen's update RPF since title update 8. Apparently, it's the December bug fix and capture update for 2013. So these lines of code have been around for a long time now. And uh, that sort of indicates that Rockstar was probably planning this for a single player update, but is now going to be giving this in online. Uh, this wouldn't be the first time we saw something like that. Basically, the entirety of the Doomsday Heist is meant for single player. Rockstar just made it for online. So either way, I'm excited. This is obviously going to be pretty cool. And the final thing we're going to be talking about today could be the icon we see for the nightclubs. Uh, when they arrive in Grand Theft Auto Online. Like, you know on the mini-map or if you open up the big map how you can see stuff and, like, the icons. Well, this apparently is what it is going to look like. It is Radar Nightclub. And it looks like sort of a disc with maybe, like, a tenth of it taken out. So, like, a, a disc jockey disc that you would see a DJ spinning or whatnot. I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. So it wouldn't shock me if that is the icon we get to see. Now, there's a good chance that Rockstar could have updated this, uh, obviously, to make it look a little bit more modern, because uh, you can see a lot of the other icons on here are beta icons and are not what we see in the final copy of the game, like the ammunition logo, not the same. In fact, a lot of these didn't even make its way into the final copy of the game, so there's no guarantee that that one will either. But there is a chance that that could be the logo that we see on the screen. All right, guys, so I'm jumping back in here, and as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I made this before the nightclub trailer came out and before Rockstar gave us a little bit of the teaser. But everything I've touched on in this video seems to add up with what they've officially confirmed. I saw a lot of our characters dancing and uh, obviously interacting in massive crowds. Now, I'm not sure if that was a part of a dancing minigame per se, or if it was just dancing in the general nightclub vicinity. Uh, and we also got to see DJs DJing. That's kind of awkward to say, but that's exactly what they were doing. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to take part in this because it was very clear from the trailer that the people we saw DJing were the actual music artists that are going to be featured in this update, like Solomon, The Tale of Us, Dixon, The Black Madonna. Those were clearly modeled after them. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do the same thing. If we are, the animations for doing the DJing stuff looked pretty awesome. And it kind of seemed like we did have a little bit of a control over like the lighting and I would assume the sound that's going on. I mean, as you guys can see right here, it is a crazy looking trailer where basically the lights are going all over the place. Uh, there's flashing lights. Again, uh, I'm sure you'd be able to control the music. So I think that everything we saw in the official trailer today pretty much confirms what we talked about in this video and what Rockstar had planned way back in 2015 when they were still discussing the possibilities of single player DLC and adding nightclubs into the game. So overall, I think this is incredibly exciting. What do you think about some of the potential new features coming to the nightclub DLC, like dancing and DJing and stuff like that? I think that's going to be pretty cool. And obviously the logo that's going to be showing up on the screen. That's another thing from the trailer that I mentioned earlier. We never really got the ability to see where that nightclub was or, you know, if it was any important or special location. I guess we're just going to have to wait for more details from Rockstar to figure that out. But anyways, that's all the information I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know if you're excited for the nightclub update in the comments down below. And let me know if you're more excited for dancing or DJing. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments right now. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.